This hamster is outperforming the stock market. And basically, you're dumb. Hey guys, gals, and pals, Mr. Obvious here. And today, we're gonna talk about Mr. Gox, the crypto trading hamster. Now this story has been circulating recently and I thought this would be a great time to talk about the psychology of investing, tips and tricks that can help you make money, as well as what I've learned in my own personal experience in the crypto space. But first, well, we gotta talk about Mr. Gox. Cute little hamster, look at him, he's adorable. So here we are on Market Watch. Here it says, Crypto trading hamster Mr. Gox has outperformed the S&P 500 since June. For those of you who don't know, the S&P 500 is a basket of the 500 biggest companies, which is also known as an index fund. An indexed fund is an index of different companies. In this case, the top 500 companies. Now, on average, the S&P 500 gives you a return of about 10% per year. Currently, Mr. Gox is making more than 10%. So let's look at this Market Watch article. Here it says, the hamster named Mr. Gox, likely after a now defunct crypto exchange, Mt. Gox, has been trading cryptocurrency since June and has seen gains of 16.62% as of Monday. The S&P 500 has gained about 4% during the same period. So 300 times better than humans. But how's he doing this? Well, it all has to do with his special setup. So this is how it works. The hamster running wheel is rigged to a computer and this computer scrolls through various crypto assets like Bitcoin and Dogecoin and Ethereum. So he'll run on the little hamster wheel. This will randomly select a coin and then depending on which tunnel he goes through, it will either buy or sell. According to a BBC article, the minds behind the furry financer are two men in their 30s from Germany. Quote, we felt that everything keeps getting more expensive these days and building savings is super hard to achieve with high rents to pay. They said, quote, it seems like most people from our generation see no other chance than throwing a lot of their savings on the crypto market without having a clue what's going on there. We were joking about whether my hamster would be able to make smarter investment decisions than humans do. And the answer was yes. This little hamster is on a complete warpath, buying and selling random cryptos, making a lot of money. So he started with 326 euro on June 12th, and about 95 trades later, was down 7.3%. However, as of September 27th, the hamster's performance is up 19.41%. He's doing really good. Now, other than being hilarious and adorable, I wanna talk about why this mouse has been so successful and a little bit about investing psychology. You see, the hamster doesn't know that it's buying crypto. It's not making a conscious decision. In fact, the buying and selling is pretty much random. So how is he able to perform 300% better than the US stock market S&P 500? Well, it's very simple, folks. Studies have found that investing completely randomly is more likely to get you higher returns than so-called financial experts who have finance degrees and invest on Wall Street. Why is this so? Well, it turns out that humans are extremely bad at investing. There was once a study they did on the stock market. They got chimps to throw a dart at a dartboard with random stocks. They bought those stocks, and it turns out that a chimp throwing dartboards on a random stock board performed better than the greatest experts in finance. The moral of the story is, investing randomly will give you better returns than the average investor. So let's go over some tips and tricks. This is what I've learned in my time in investing, and this is what I recommend for others. You must take emotions out of the equation. Most people who, who get into investing end up losing money, not because their stock or crypto doesn't perform well in the long run, but because they get scared. Fear, capitulation, paper hands. Most people don't understand that stocks go up and down over time. It's the same way in cryptocurrency. I'm gonna show you something. This is Bitcoin stock to flow model. And had you bought Bitcoin at any point in history, 
you know, before 2021, you would be in profit. Why is that? Because you'll notice here that even though Bitcoin goes up and goes down and goes sideways and then is down and then is up, in the long run, the trend is upwards. It's the same thing with a stock. So tip number one, don't sell just because your asset or stock is down. Holding can be the most powerful strategy to make money. Tip number two, you don't necessarily want to be like Mr. Gox. While it, you can make money investing randomly, it's good to do your own research. Always do your own research when it comes to cryptocurrencies and stocks. For example, I own Chainlink. <laughs> Why? Because I believe Chainlink is here to stay. Chainlink is a data oracle and a lot of cryptocurrency projects use it for price feeds, for getting accurate verifiable data. As such, it is a cryptocurrency that will always be needed. And if it will always be needed, it's safe to hold for the long term. This has been my strategy to survive every single crash and come out on top. Tip number three, invest for the long term. The fact of the matter is, a lot of people just want to make quick money. Unfortunately, there's no such thing as a get rich quick in investing. The truth is, this hamster is a better trader than the majority of humans. Take a look at the Mr. Gox YouTube channel. Here you can see the following video. World's first crypto asset trading hamster. It has 100,000 views and 2,000 likes. I want to look over here at this funny comment. Flinsky says, I can't believe I live in this era where a hamster trades better than me. <laughs> uh. The fact of the matter is, folks, a literal hamster is better at trading than you are. Odds are. So buying and selling often and trying to, like, time the market is generally regarded as a very bad idea. People chase quick pumps and gains, a stock or a crypto goes up 20%, so you sell it, and then you buy this other crypto, and then, oops, the crypto you bought is crashing, and the crypto you sold goes up 100%. This happens so many times to new investors. The key is to plan for the long term. That's my opinion. So number three is be a long-term investor. And you too can beat the market like Mr. Gox. But that's merely the obvious. Well, that's all for now, folks. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you would like to be like Mr. Gox and start your investment journey, consider joining Webull. Webull is an easy and convenient trading app where you can buy and sell cryptocurrency and stocks. Join Webull today by clicking the affiliate link down below and depositing your first $5. Doing so will give you two free stocks. It's basically free money. Now, unlike Mr. Gox, I would suggest you do your own research and invest for the long term and do not be emotional. These are your keys to success. You wanna buy something that's gonna be around in 10, to 20 years, whether it's the S&P 500, which by many people is considered safe, or Bitcoin, which many people say is still speculative. Either way, I say invest for the long haul and you can never go wrong because odds are eventually you're going to make those sweet tendies, those sweet gains. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching the video. This has been Mr. Obvious and I'll see you all next time.